y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back to Supper at the Family Table where I'm going to be making a really easy supper. So today I'm going to be making an easy minestrone soup. I've already got a little bit of it started over here to save us some time and get us going. But it's going to be really easy, really yummy, and perfect for this day because it is fall. It's not raining now, but it's kind of been rainy all day and gloomy and... This is going to be good. So it's going to be perfect for today's weather. Hi, Lynn. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go through what you'll need real quick for this soup while everybody is hopping on. And then we will go ahead and get started. So you're going to need some carrots and onions. Also saute some garlic in a pot. I already have sauteed stuff over here. Hi, Murray. You're also going to need some tomato juice. Hi, Chas. You're also going to need some tomatoes cut up. You're going to need some spinach. Hi, Alethea. Thanks so much for watching. Um, you're also going to need some beans, and you're going to need some pasta. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, yeah, we're also going to make easy homemade bread. Super easy, super yummy. So, let's put y'all down here. Go ahead and get started. In here, I have sauteed my onions and carrots. Okay, they did get a little bit dark on me, so let's... Just ignore that part. Don't do that. Now, we're going to add our tomato juice here. You can also use vegetable juice. There's that. Okay. We're going to add our diced tomatoes. There we go. We're also going to add in our pasta. So I just have some macaroni here you can use whole wheat gluten free what whatever you want to use just cook some of that ahead of time drop that in here there we go perfect and we're also going to do some beans throw that in there and we're going to do some beans so i'm going to go get those Let me grab the beans. Hang on, just give me just a second while I bring the beans over here. Alright. Here is our beans. I cooked mine in the Instant Pot because y'all know that is what I do. But you can use canned beans if you want. And these are just red beans, kidney beans, whatever. Um, you want to use. So I'm going to grab some of those. You don't necessarily need the juice. Just need the beans. So we're going to add those in there. Thanks for sharing, Lynn. It's a lot. Thank you so much y'all would please share I really appreciate it. Hi Laurie, thanks. There we go. This looks good already. I can't wait to eat it. And that was about half of a box, so half a pound, three ounces or so of pasta that I cooked. Oh, hi, Tay. There we go. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for watching. All right. There we go. I'm trying to get all these out. Hi, Connie. Thank you so much for watching today. And I've got some of the juice. You don't necessarily need all of it. And like I said, you can totally just use can here if that's what you have. Let's see if I can scoop the last bit of them here. That's what I should have been using all along. There we go. Try to get every last bit. And don't waste two beans here. There we go. Now I just got my juice left. Let me set this aside. There we go. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jeanette. 
Now we're gonna stir this, so we're gonna turn this up a little bit, allow it to just kind of simmer and all the flavors to melt together. At this point, once you start assembling it and you've sauteed your onions, your garlic, your carrots, you know, that's really the longest part. If your beans are hot, you know, you just wanna simmer and get it hot. So, like this is not hot right now. We just wanna bring this up to a simmer and get the juice and the liquid warm, but our beans are cooked, our pasta is cooked. So, essentially, that's all we're doing. Also, I'm gonna grab right here, I'm gonna cut up some fresh parsley. Let me grab back on that. Here we go. I'm gonna cut up some fresh parsley and basil. You can use dried and you can use whatever herbs you have. You can do oregano, uh, basil, parsley, whatever you want. These are what I have growing outside right now. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Connie. Rough chop. We're gonna throw that in. Soup and pasta to your favorite foods. Our soup, we love soup and we love pasta, so this is a perfect combination. And perfect for this rainy day. So we're gonna stir that. There we go. We're also gonna do some salt and pepper, of course. Hi, Millie, thanks for watching. Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna let this simmer until it gets warm, yummy, and delicious. Then we'll serve it with some Parmesan cheese on top, and it'll be delicious. Now we're gonna make easy homemade bread, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So first, we're gonna need our bowl, of course. We're gonna need our recipe. We're gonna need one and one thirds of a cup of warm water, so you want it to be warm. The perfect temperature for me is I just turn my water on, let it get as hot as it's gonna get, and then uh, use it that way. It's usually about 103 to 105 if you wanna test it. All right, so there is our one and one third cup of water, cheese, and bread too. Your four base, basic food groups with the soup and the pasta. Yep, we are covering all the yummy stuff today. Now we're gonna need two teaspoons of yeast. This is instant yeast. We're just gonna need two teaspoons of that. Okay. Ideally, you would want to set this, let this sit and bloom. Hi, David. Thank you so much for watching. Um, ideally, you would want to let this sit and bloom. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that if it is instant yeast. Um, and for the sake of time, because I don't really have time today, I'm not going to do that. But um, if you are using active dry yeast, you definitely need to let it bloom. Instant doesn't necessarily require uh, a proofing time. So, you can see it's already kind of starting to foam up and be uh, great. Now we're gonna need our egg, one egg. We're going to need two teaspoons of honey or sugar. Just a little bit of sweetener to help the yeast. And you would actually put that in with your blooming yeast if you're blooming it. You don't necessarily have to add that, but it does help. Uh, we're also going to need one teaspoon of salt. There we go. And then three and a half cups of flour. Or three to three and a half. Uh, it kind of depends. So let's actually whisk all these dry ingredients together first. Okay, there we go. Kind of mix that all together. 
Then we're gonna do three to three and a half cups of flour. I either like organic um, um, bleach all purpose, if I'm doing all purpose, or whole wheat, but that is up to you. And you can always split it half and half. So there's one, two, and three. Perfect. We're gonna stir this up. Let's see, can you all see that? Stir it up, and at this point, it'll depend on your humidity and stuff, uh, whether you will need that extra cup of flour or not. Uh, you don't want it to be too, too sticky, but you don't want it to be too dry either. You just kind of have to feel of it. That is a little bit sticky, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Maybe not my full half cup, but a little bit more. And we want to stir the soup and make sure that's coming up to a good simmer. There we go. Now it's starting to, you can see, more form a ball. Okay, now let me grab my pot. So we're going to do this in a Dutch oven. This is Dutch oven bread, easy Dutch oven bread, a nice crusty round loaf that gets really crusty and delicious. So you can actually do oil, you can do paper, uh, or you can do cornmeal sprinkled in the bottom. I usually do cornmeal. And then we're kind of going to shape this. So we're just going to shape it. You don't really have to knead it. Shape it into a loaf here. There we go. A nice rustic loaf. I'm going to wash my hands. All right, you will cut some slits in your bread here. Then. You're gonna bake it. So you're gonna make it for 30 minutes. You're gonna make it bake it for 15 minutes, covered and 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes you're gonna uncover and bake it. I can't remember the exact temp, uh, but I'll link it down below because I have a YouTube video and a blog post sharing how to make bread already, and you all see me make it on here. So I'm sorry I don't have one ready for you today, but we'll just pretend, and you guys know what it looks like. So now let's try the soup. Um, I haven't let it simmer quite as long as maybe I would, but I can tell it's hot, and we're going to give it a try. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for watching. Hi, Sandy. Thank you all so much for watching. Okay, here we go. Ooh, let's not get that on the stove. There we go. Now, get some of those yummy noodles. Mmm, look at that. Let's give this a try. Mmm, okay, I can't wait. Oh, we need to top it. You can also top it with some Parmesan cheese, but I didn't grab any out. Mmm, so good. Yummy. Delicious. So flavorful. It's got all the good flavors in there. Your beans, your pasta. Really good. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be perfect. We'll leave this here. We'll heat it up. After we go to church tonight, we are having a gospel meeting at the Crown Church of Christ with Zach Collins. If you all would, if you're local, come out and join us. If not, it will be live streamed on the Crown Church of Christ Facebook page. Thanks, Millie. All right, so I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Give this recipe a try, share, and don't forget to check out the blog, YouTube, and come back for more here on Facebook. Bye!